This is a fun article that I found. Study finds that the Tyrannosaurus Rex might have had an air conditioner in his head. In his head. That is very cool. Very cool. Um, oh my gosh. Look at this embarrassing Etsy ad. Vaccinated jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> for the record i use a private a, a private uh everything so none of the ads that are showing up are things that i've searched for all right don't 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 confuse it for something that i'm interested in <laughs> oh it's funny or maybe i should just get get that anyway just to like be like yeah 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 just look at the necklace. I'm good. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry. We're talking about the Tyrannosaurus Rex here, all right? Tyrannosaurus Rex. Scientists keep making incredible discoveries in the field of paleontology, the latest of which is regarding the Tyrannosaurus Rex, one of the most well-known dinosaurs and uh, popularized in many films. It speaks to our imagination as one of the more enormous meat-eating dinosaur species that have ever roamed the earth. Amazing. Here's a, a thermal image of the Tyrannosaurus Rex shown with its dorsal temporal uh, fenestra vibrantly gl glowing, which almost looks like it has a third eye. You know what? What if maybe, bear with me, all right, bear with me now. It ate something and the thing it ate, like it bit the head off of something, right? And everything has DMT in it. I don't know if you know this. DMT is literally in all things. It's in plants, it's in you, it's in me, it's in trees, uh, it's in animals, it's in cats, dogs, everything. And when you die, your brain releases it. So what if, all right, what if at the time this Tyrannosaurus Rex bit the head off its prey, all right, the prey, uh, let's say the, it's also a predator, ate something else, bit the head off something else, and then its head got bit off. So there's double the amount of DMT in these two heads. One ate, one ate a smaller head. I know, I'm, I'm getting far-fetched. Like Russian nesting dolls. Think about like that, right? So the T-Rex bites the head off something who just bit the head off something. It releases all the DMT. The T-Rex gets an influx of DMT and starts tripping. <laughs> Sorry, am I did I lose you guys? <laughs> All right, but look at this. That's what this picture looks like to me. I had to kind of like give you what what I was imagining when I saw this picture. I'm like, it kind of looks like his third eye is opened, like he's trying to communicate with this crocodile. Like, look at him. He's looking at him. He's like, I know what you're thinking. Mm, yes, you're thinking that this bird over here is 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 kind of quite judgmental. Look how judgmental this bird is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, researchers from the University of Florida, Ohio University, and the University of Missouri proposed that T-Rex had an air conditioner in its head. With this claim, they are flying in the face of theories that have stood for over a century. It all has to do with two large holes that can be found on the top of the Tyrannosaurus rex's skull. Scientists previously thought that they were filled with mucus or muscles tasked with supporting jaw movement. The idea of muscles in that location didn't quite sit right with the Casey Holliday, the lead scientist on the study. He stated that it is strange for a muscle to come up from the jaw, make a 90 degree turn, and then go along the roof of a skull. He continues by stating that there is a lot of compelling evidence for blood vessels in that particular location. The evidence for this is mainly based on studies on alligators and comparable reptiles. To further support their hypothesis, researchers use thermal imaging to examine alligators. They now believe their evidence offers a new understanding of the composition of a T-Rex's head. The coordination of laboratories at the Department of Biology from the University of Florida, Kent Villiet, stated that the body heat of an alligator is dependent on its surroundings. He subs substantiated this statement by pointing out that they noticed big thermal hotspots on the holes in the roof of their heads when they were trying to warm up in chillier surroundings. The scientists concluded 
that the holes in the head of the Tyrannosaurus rex were probably also filled with blood vessels similar to those in the skulls of alligators. They are effectively creating a rift with the current school of thought up until now that has been putting muscles at those locations for over a hundred years. And you know what? It makes sense because if the jaw would come up, like why would it go 90 degrees and over to holes on the top of the head? Obviously I have a completely different shaped skull than a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but I mean, for what they're suggesting, it does make a lot more sense to me. And, uh, I, I've actually seen many of these bones in, in life. I love going to museums. I love seeing these guys. And you can kind of see here, these would be the two holes that they're talking about. Why would the jaw muscle go, even if it was like here, right? No, I mean, that would be open all the way to here. So this is like where the main jaw muscle is. It would have to go up 90 degrees forward and 90 degrees like over the top of the head. It makes no sense. And what they're saying when they're looking at yeah, the closest thing on our planet right now that could resemble a T-Rex, which is an alligator. I mean, they're basically just like long, straight, cigar-shaped alligators. huh? <laughs> so anyway, I think it's really cool. I'm really excited about it.